I'm going to demonstrate how you can make a parallelogram just using circles and perpendicular bisectors. So again, as I stated in my previous video, unfortunately, I do not have a compass tool on here. So I'm just going to be doing my best to create perfect circles. Ideally, you're going to be doing this with a compass. So hopefully, as you're practicing this, you're going to use a compass. So I'm going to start out with a line segment. I'm just going to make it a little smaller, I think. All right. Maybe a little bigger. Eh, we'll go with this. First thing I want to do is bisect my line. So in order to do that, I need to create a circle from each of these points. I'm going to start out with A and B. And it doesn't really matter how big the circle is. It just has to be more than halfway across my line segment. So I'll start out with this circle. And not bad. Let's see. Maybe I can even move it a little bit. Hey, there we go. Now it lines up perfectly. So this I'm going to use right here. A to right here, my new point, I'll call this C, is the radius. So now my goal is I'm going to create, I'm going to use the same circle. Now you would use a compass to do this typically, but I'm going to just use notability and I'm going to use that same circle here. I'm going to center it around B. And it's not bad. I pretty much centered it out pretty well. So now the thing is I want B to D right here. B to D is the radius for this circle. And you'll notice that they meet right here in the middle, and this gives me my perpendicular bisector. So I can make a point right here, or I could just draw a line. I think I'm just gonna draw a line just like so. And then I get E right here in the middle. Now, what, e, what I've done here is I've taken this line segment and I've cut it in half. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of that red highlighter because now I've created two halves. I've got a half right here, and I've got a half right here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bisect each half that I've created. So I'm gonna start by bisecting the green one. Again, I just wanna go more than halfway across my green line, so I'm gonna do it with a circle. It looks like this, and oops. I'm supposed to hold it down, let me try that again. Hold it down, and there you go. I got a nifty little circle. So now I'm going to copy that circle. I'm going to use the same circle. Now that's why you you use a compass. I'm not using a compass in this case, but I'm going to take that same circle. And I'm going to paste it. Just have to move it a little bit and center it right here on E. You'll notice now that I have centered the circle on E and A. And what I can do now is I'm going to bise I've bisected the green line. You'll notice I'm going to put two points up here. I'm not going to put the line in, but I, if I drew a line here, like if I did do this line like this, that would bisect this line segment, but I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to keep my points. Now what I want to do is you'll notice I'm going to take the same circle, and I'm going to use that to bisect my brown line here, E to B. So I'm going to go from E to B. I'm going to bisect this line segment. I'm going to use the same circle, and I'm going to center it around E, which I already have, which is nice. Now I'm going to center it around B. This looks pretty good right here. So again, right here is the radius from B, and I can even call that a new point, which I'm going to. I'll call this... F, so B to F, it's raised for this circle, and then I have, let's see, I've got another radius here, E to, I'll call this G, that's another radius. So I'm also going to make these points right where they intersect it, and now hopefully what you're noticing here is if I connect these lines, connect right up here. I've got myself a parallelogram. And that's the goal here. We're creating a parallelogram. So the goal is you want to create, you want to bisect your, your initial line, bisect that big line. You can bisect each half. And when you do that, you're going to make points where those circles meet. And you don't have to necessarily draw your line. But from these points, I can connect them and make a parallelogram. So when you're at home, if you don't necessarily have a compass handy, you could just try by drawing some really good circles. But we use a compass just so we know we're using the same circle. In this case, you'll know this. I just copied and pasted to make sure I had the same circle. 
Hopefully this helps you in preparing for our quiz.